Any questions before we adjourn? Anybody awake? Yeah, it's an A, it's not free. It's heavy weight. And B, nobody uses it because if you want load balancing and clustering, you put you push that into a different layer. It's not on the same machine. So SSL is offloaded to something up front. Caching is offloaded to something up front. Clustering is pushed out. I mean, this is very clusterable because it's just you're running a jar file. Yeah, it's totally stateless. Um, Deployment is drop dead simple. You know, you got a cluster of 50 machines out there that are running a, a service suite. You kill one JVM, you start up a new one, you move to the next machine, and you just you just roll them out that way. So, um, our experience has been that the container is just useless. At least the way we do business, you know, it's like we, we have an F5 at the front. It does SSL offloading. And we have caching behind there. You know, and, and clustering, you know, these don't communicate. It's just a service suite. And the, the load balancer does round robin because it's all stateless. So, you know, it's drop dead simple. So you had a question? Um, it will work. Right now we have implementations for, um, Fold Foldemore doesn't do paginations, but um, Mongo is the, the most mature implementation we have right now. It is agnostic, yeah. I mean, if you wrote, uh, say, a MySQL repository for it, you'd have to map that query filter thing to, you know, to add the limit. And I don't remember what MySQL. I think MySQL uses limit and offset parameters also. So you just have to map that to it. That's a good question. Um, it supports it supports uh, preprocessors, and that's where we do authentication and authorization. So we have a we have objects that we stick in there that can make outbound calls to other services, or it can do a an HMAC matching algorithm. So that's how we do it. So if the last standard authentication model is basically based on password. Uh huh. Trying to convince our security with OAuth, uh -huh. and uh, try to bring that to the mix. Um, until then, like we, we are stuck with uh, the normal user accounts, so based access. Right. Um, so if you actually have to say username and password is our way of authentication for the service, uh, what's the recommended approach to pass those values? Like pass the secure values. Um. Yeah, I mean that's basic authentication, right? So you could you could honor the HTTP basic auth scheme and pass it as a header over SSL, I would assume. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um, I just wanted to. Uh, So I only showed you the the pagination, but it, it does sorting and filtering, sorting and filtering also. So you can do name matching uh, on your properties, and and it will order order your results. But there again, um, it's the MongoDB repository that's the most mature right now. Right, that's it. Yep. Um, it's extremely fast. If you want, I can show you some benchmarks against Tomcat with the NIO. Um, I know Jetty's a little faster, but Jetty, everything's kind of equaling out with the NIO model, um, but REST Express is still faster. So, I mean, it, 
at the at the NIO level, you know, you get down to less than 10% faster. Uh, so it might not matter in that sense, but then you get all the write less code, easier deployments, you know, no muss, no fuss. Um, so for us, it works well. All right, you guys, I'll let you go. If you have any questions, feel free to keep asking. Um, at the end of the slide deck, there's uh, links to all the the REST Express uh, projects and some additional reading if you want. What are you guys running?